Thinking of moving to the Oklahoma City area and you're thinking Norman, Oklahoma, but you'd like maybe to know about the pros and the cons of living there. Well, that is exactly what we're getting into in this video, and that video starts right now. Thank you so much for joining us again here today. We always appreciate that. Norman, Oklahoma is a city located on the southern part of the Oklahoma City Metro. It is the third largest city in the state and makes it the second largest city in the OKC Metro right behind Oklahoma City. Like many college towns, Norman has its own unique vibe and culture and is home to some nearly 30,000 university students every year. Now, before we dive into some of the pros and cons of Norman, if you've been thinking of moving to the Oklahoma City area, whether it's in the next three weeks or three months from now, we would absolutely love the opportunity to help you make a smooth move here to the Oklahoma City area. All of that contact information is down in the description below. Feel free to shoot us a call, a text, or an email, and we will get right back to you to help you buy that perfect home here in the Oklahoma City area. Now with that out of the way, let's get into what you're here for, which is the pros and the cons of Norman, Oklahoma. And if you stick around to the end, I've got something very cool I'd like to share with you. Let's get into the video. Now as we get into the pros of Norman, Oklahoma, the first thing I want to have on our pros list is the University of Oklahoma. With Norman Norman being home of the OU Sooners, if you're a sports fan, there is nothing quite like football and basketball season in a big college town. Just being around people rooting for the same cause, which is your university sports team, is just so much fun. It's an energy that you can't replicate anywhere else. In addition to that, having roughly 30,000 students attending OU every year, it has always been a positive contribution to the Norman economy. The second thing on our pros list today is that Norman has a great little downtown area of its own. With all of its neat little bars, restaurants, and shops, there's almost really no reason that you'd have to leave the area to find some entertainment. In addition to that, Norman has some pretty cool festivals every year, the biggest probably being Norman Music Festival. Now, the third pro on our list today is, frankly, Norman's close proximity to Oklahoma City. Located only 20 miles south of Oklahoma City, you can pretty much get into downtown Oklahoma City within about a 20 to 25 minute drive, depending on how you drive. And I've seen how some of you drive. And even though, as I said, Norman has its own cool little downtown area with all its own shops and bars and restaurants, sometimes it's nice to take a short drive into Oklahoma City from Norman just to explore a little more options available. So I definitely consider that a pro for Norman to have such close access to Oklahoma the city. Now the next pro for Norman is that I would consider it a very family friendly city for a couple of reasons. The first reason being that Norman, Oklahoma has great public schools. They have a great student teacher ratio K through 12 and pretty much by all academic measures it's considered one of the best public school systems in the state. In addition to that Norman is home to several state parks many of which are located around Lake Thunderbird. And one of the biggest pros to Norman, Oklahoma is the affordable home prices compared to the national average. The median home price in Norman is right around $260 $60,000 compared to nationally, the median home price being around $450,000. In addition to that, there are still a good amount of rural areas around the outskirts of Norman where you can find some homes built on much bigger lots and you can get a little more of that country lifestyle while still having access to a city. All right, before we get into the cons of Norman, drop down below and click the like button if you're enjoying this so far. It really helps out the channel. All right, the first con that I'd like to discuss of Norman, because it is a big university town, it can be a bit of a challenging transition with schools back in. With 30,000 students rolling back into Norman, Oklahoma, it certainly makes the town feel more crowded, traffic more crowded. For those friends that I have that live in Norman, for whatever reason, it seems to smooth out after a few days or maybe a week or so, but that transition getting back into school can be a little bit chaotic. All right, the next con for Norman, as cool as it is having the OU Sooners in town, college football game day traffic can be pretty bad. Even if you're a college football fan, the traffic can be pretty bad and parking is pretty much going to be surrounding the entire university all the way into to the surrounding neighborhoods. And if you aren't a college football fan, the traffic's pretty much horrendous. But all that said, boomer sooner. All right, the next con for Norman is that the cost of living is gonna be slightly higher than it is in Oklahoma City. Now, it's important to know that the cost of living in Norman is about 10% below the national average. However, that said, you are gonna pay somewhere around four to 5% more than you will in Oklahoma City proper. And I guess that's not really surprising being a college town, but definitely something to note. Now, the next thing on our pros list is gonna be the weather. And I mean specifically when it comes to tornadic activity. Now, even though the entire OKC Metro is one of the more tornado prone areas in the world, Norman 
lies in one of the areas that's commonly referred to as Tornado Alley, where tornadoes can arguably be more frequent and intense. At a minimum, you're gonna face some tornado watches and warnings every year from about April to June, and there may be some times you need to be prepared to take cover. Now, homes in Norman, much like the entire OKC Metro, aren't automatically equipped with storm shelters, but it is commonly an available option, and it is something that can be added after the fact, and usually start around $2,500, and could go upwards of ten dollars or $15,000, depending on the amount of space and features that you want. And one of the last things I want to bring up is the prices of homes. Now, I know we put home prices on the pro side, and that is because in Norman, $260,000 median home price is significantly under the national average. However, it is still above the median home price in Oklahoma City, which is still just under $250,000. In general, you can expect to pay a little more price per square foot in Norman versus Oklahoma City. And while that's not terribly surprising being in a college town, it's something you want to consider if you're considering Norman versus Oklahoma City. All right, now something I wanted to share kind of as a bonus today is not specifically about Norman, but it's about the commuter train that they're working on here in the Oklahoma City Metro. Now this plan is still very much in the early developmental stage, but the idea is that it will run all the way from Norman all the way up into the northern side of the Oklahoma City Metro into Edmond. So far, there are three cities here in the Oklahoma City Metro that are on board with this plan or all aboard with this plan from Norman to Oklahoma City and Edmond. But the idea is that it would provide a secondary way for people to travel from one city to the next without having to drive. Now, it's not likely that Oklahoma City is going to be able to replace the need to have a car in a city as big as this is by area, but it's going to be great to have that to kind of reduce the need to drive everywhere. Again, very early in the developmental stage, this is going to be a very big project. Oklahoma City is just now applying for the first round of $100 million grant funding, so we got a long ways to go, but it's going to be something really fun to watch and I hope that it ends up being just as good for the city as it sounds. Well, as always, that was a ton of fun running through the pros and the cons of Norman, Oklahoma. And again, if you're thinking about moving to the Oklahoma City area, whether in the next three weeks or three months from now, we'd absolutely love the opportunity to help you make a smooth move here to OKC. All that contact information is in the description below. Feel free to shoot us a call, a text, or an email. We'll get right back to you to help you buy that perfect home here in Oklahoma City. If you enjoyed this video today, smash the like button and click subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Tap the bell for notifications so that you know every time we drop a new video. If you'd like to hang out and talk about more things living in Oklahoma City, feel free to check out this video right here. And guys, as always, I certainly hope to OK see you soon.